What's up my piano friends? Zach Evans here and today I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful emotional sound on piano with just four notes. This is something even a complete beginner could learn pretty easily to be honest, but it sounds a lot harder than it actually is. Here's what the finished product is going to sound like. play this thing at church for a gig or even just to surprise your friends and family with a beautiful piano piece all right i'm excited and ready to go let's get started all right so the four notes are actually pretty simple simply put your right pinky on g middle finger on e pointer finger d and thumb on c we're simply going to play these notes going downward and repeat. So G, E, D, C, G, E, D, C. And as you practice this and gradually speed it up, it's gonna sound like this. Already sounds pretty beautiful, right? Now, if you're having trouble getting this to sound smooth, and your sounds may be something like this. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you later on how to fix this and get that smooth, even tone using what I call the steam iron piano technique to smooth out any wrinkles and bumps in your playing so it sounds confident and smooth like this. But first, let's add in the left hand and finish up this pattern. So the four notes we're going to use in the left hand are your left thumb on C, your left middle finger on A, and then ring finger G, and then F. Now these are pretty easy to remember because you'll notice it's the exact same shape as your right hand. We're just moving it down here. Now the order we're going to play these notes is C, then G, then A, then F. So it sounds like this. When we put it together with the right hand, it's gonna sound like this. And already this sounds cool, right? Now you could stop here and be like, Zach, I'm good, let me just go show my family now. But if you stick around just a bit longer, I'm gonna show you some easy add-ons that you can use to really make this thing pop for an audience. But before we go into that, I'd highly recommend downloading the cheat sheet now. It's gonna make life a lot easier for you in the rest of the video. So click the link, put in your name and email, click submit, and you can download the cheat sheet here. All right, so the first ridiculously easy way we can spice up this pattern is by using transposition. What this means is you can put your thumbs on any C, any C on the entire keyboard, and it's always going to sound good. Check this out. We could have our thumb on C, thumb on C, same pattern. Or we could move our left thumb down to this C. Anywhere on the keyboard, as long as your thumbs are on C, this pattern is going to sound good. So if you're writing your own song, for example, you might start with the verse up here. And then maybe for the chorus, you move here. And then maybe for the bridge, you change it to this. You can be creative and do absolutely whatever you want. But guess what? It gets even better because we can actually do the exact same thing with our thumbs on the note G and it's still going to sound good. I kind of I kind of feel like one of those infomercial people that's like, but wait, there's more, right? So instead of our thumbs on C, we can move our thumbs to G and play the exact same thing. Of course, we can play any G on the keyboard. So now it's like you have just these four notes, but you can already create enough variation to create an entire song 
from scratch. But it gets even better than this because we can pretty easily add in another variation called money patterns to make this even more exciting. But before that, these videos take me a ton of time to make and record and edit. So if you are enjoying this video, if you could hit that like button, I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so one thing I actually haven't told you yet is you can play these four notes in any order and it's always going to sound good as long as you stick to these four notes. So instead of playing them going down, like we're doing before, you could play anything. And it's always gonna sound good as long as you're using these four notes. Now, if you look on the cheat sheet, it has my four what I call money patterns because these are the four patterns that to me are the best patterns that really tug on the heartstrings. So first up on the cheat sheet, as you can see, we have the pattern we already learned. Next up, we have the pattern one, two, three, five, and repeat. So one, two, three, five, and repeat sounds like this. Next, we have the pattern five, two, three, one, which sounds like this. And finally, we have the pattern five, one, two, one, which sounds like this. And of course, we can play these patterns on any C or any G on the entire keyboard, and it's always gonna sound good. At this point of the video, some of you out there might be thinking, Zach, you know, I'm good, thanks for the lesson. But some of y'all out there are like, Zach, this is easy. It's all right on the cheat sheet. I want more. What else can I do to this pattern? And I freaking love that attitude. So next up, we're gonna be talk about what I call the energy note and adding in the energy note to this pattern. It's going to make it sound even cooler than it does right now. But before that, especially if you are a adult beginner piano player, which is what I specialize in teaching, I'd highly recommend hitting that subscribe button and hitting the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos I have coming out. All right, so as you can see on the cheat sheet, this lightning note, this is what I call the energy note, which is the note F. Now this note, when you sparingly in your pattern can add some extra kind of sparkle or some extra energy to the sound of this pattern. So let's say I'm playing the normal pattern. I can add in this F every so often and it's going to sound cool. So pay attention to when I play this F and the emotion it creates in the sound. See how it, it just gives it a little more spice, a little more energy than just the normal pattern. Now we really only want to use this F every so often. If we play the F all the time, it kind of loses its impact and it doesn't really sound that good. So for example, if I use the F all the time and did it wrong and play it like this, It doesn't really sound that good. It doesn't really sound like how it's supposed to sound in the progression. So use this energy note just every so often just to add a bit of flavor and a bit of spice to your playing. All right, so by now in the video, you have your four notes. You can play them on any C or G on the entire keyboard. You can play them using any money pattern. And you can add in the energy note. So now you have basically an unlimited combination of patterns and notes you can use to compose your own song. Now, like I said early in the video, if you're having trouble getting this to sound smooth, you're gonna want to use the steam iron practice strategy. I call it the steam iron because just like ironing your clothes, it's designed to iron out all those little wrinkles and bumps in your playing. Like that, so you can have this smooth, confident tone on the keys. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, and some of you out there don't need this, so if you want the steam iron technique, I put a bonus video on the same page where you got the cheat sheet. So again, if you click the link, put in your name and email, click submit, you'll go to this page with the cheat sheet here, and right beneath it, right here, you can get the bonus video on the steam iron method. All right, hope this video brought some joy and happiness to your life today. Thanks a lot for watching, peace out, and happy practicing.